Yeah. What's up, Mac and I'm mother hundred fifty thousand dollars a week. Crazy, man. You heard what uh, you said. hundred fifty thousand. It's believable. I can see him doing the show Friday, Saturday, Sunday, some after parties. I, I can see that. Ain't nobody getting booked Friday, Saturday, Sunday for a whole 20, 30 years. I think, I think Boosie's a legend. I think in places like South I Carolina, a great Mississippi. Legend. Listen, let me tell you something. I just got booked at the same motherfucking places Boosie got booked at. And guess what? That motherfucker with this smile, they can't afford to pay him that much money and generate that type of revenue at that dope crazy man. I it's think impossible. Boosie has a large. I think Boosie has a large range of fans, man, from kids to kids to people in their fifties, man. I think a lot of. Oh, people, he might make I'm, it off of YouTube. I'm not taking. I'm not taking. He's not making it on no show, son. I don't give a damn what you say. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a nigga ain't making no fifty thousand Friday, fifty thousand Saturday, fifty thousand dollars Sunday. It's not happening. You don't. So wait, you don't see him. You don't see him getting thirty, thirty a show and then twenty at the parties. You don't see that. I think it's believable. Not at the shit that he been to, cause I was there, and they on, and, and with my little, my little goddamn after party, cause I charged twenty for the, for the um the show, and I charged ten for the um after party. It was a thirty ball, right? So I did it that Friday, and I did it that Saturday. I made me a sixty, and guess what? This motherfucker was packed out. So now Rollo sat down with Say Cheese TV and Sean Cotton, had another interview with him. And Rollo said he don't believe that Boosie making $150,000 a weekend performing and doing shows. So let's see what he got to say. Boosie ain't making no motherfucking $150,000 a week. Crazy, man. You heard what uh, you said. It's, it's believable. I can see him doing the show Friday, Saturday, Sunday, some after parties. Uh, I can see that. Ain't nobody getting booked Friday, Saturday, Sunday for a whole 20, 30 years. I think... I think Boosie's a legend. I think in places like South I Carolina, Mississippi. Legend. Listen, let me tell you something. I just got booked at the same motherfucking places Boosie got booked at. And guess what? That motherfucker with this smile, they can't afford to pay him that much money and generate that type of revenue at that dope crazy man. I it's think impossible. Boosie has a large. I think Boosie has a large range of fans, man, from kids to kids to people in their fifties, man. I think a lot of oh, people, he might make I'm, it off of YouTube. I'm not taking. I'm not taking. He's not making it on no show, son. I don't give a damn what you say. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a nigga ain't making no fifty thousand Friday, fifty thousand Saturday, fifty thousand dollars Sunday. It's not happening. You don't. So wait, you don't see him. You don't see him getting thirty, thirty a show and then twenty after parties. You don't see that. I think it's believable. Not at the shit that he been to, cause I was there. And they on and, and with my little my little goddamn after party, cause I charged twenty for the, for the um the show and I charged ten for the um uh, after party. It was a thirty ball, right? So I did it that Friday and I did it that Saturday. I made me a sixty. And guess what? This motherfucker was packed out. Now, Boosie responded to that. Boosie ain't say too much. He just said that he was obsessed. That Rollo was obsessed. I ain't gonna lie. Is it giving? Is giving? Uh, I even sound like a girl saying it. I said it's giving. That shit sound like a little envy, little jealousy, little hate, or little. I believe it. It's believable. Every weekend, I won't say every weekend, but I would say two weekends out the month. I would say Boosie clocking in one hundred fifty thousand dollar weekends. It's possible. And then with Rollo, I feel like what Rollo failing to realize and, and view is his booking and show prices is not the same as Boosie booking and show prices. On top of that, if Boosie booking one show right now and then a show for the future for $100,000, he still made that $100,000 for that weekend, but he clocked out. And when it did the show for 50 and 50, but it's for 100, now he going to come back around. You know, it's, it's ways for the $150,000 to be obtainable a weekend. On top of that, Boosie is a legend and Boosie is a major artist. No matter what anybody want to take from him, Boosie is an artist that niggas in the hood will pay $50,000 just to hang with Boosie and say, I brought Brucie, Boosie to my hood. And shot a video in my hood. We talk about dope boys who don't have no ambitions to even go and rap. 
Or if he do the feature for thirty thousand dollars and do another nigga do a video for thirty thousand dollars and another dope boy around the city hit him up for twenty thousand, that's fifty thousand right there. Boosie the ultimate hustler. I done seen him do it. He done came to my city and cleaned up and left and then came back the next weekend after that. So it's possible, you know, it, is it every weekend? I don't believe it's every weekend. That's just me and knowing how business work. And like Rollo was saying, the economy fucked up. So people ain't just booking for shows like that. You know what I mean? To be, you know, spreading money around like that. But niggas ain't booking Rollo for the same price they booking Boosie. Let's be real. Boosie doing promo. Boosie doing drops. Boosie doing features. Boosie doing radio appearances. Boosie doing interviews. Boosie doing 20 V1s. Boosie doing music videos. Boosie doing the shows. He doing an after party. It's like, it's plenty ways for him to clean up and make that $150,000 a weekend. I'm just pointing out the, the, the situation at hand. Every weekend, nah, I can't give him that. Nah. Is Rollo hating? No. Is Rollo pocket watching? Just a little bit. But that's artist shit. It's like, let me, what, man, that nigga ain't get with that nigga again. I know what I'm getting with that nigga again. And they do that shit. Artists do that shit. Cause they, they'll clock they worth off another artist. That nigga ain't got more hits than me. We both got a hit at the same time. I should be getting paid a hundred thousand a show. He should be getting paid 75, but I'm getting paid. That's how niggas felt be falling out. We watched that's how Young Thug and, and Rich Homie Corn ended up falling out. You know, is Rollo hating? Nah, but I think Rollo, he, he want to break down every, he want to diagnose this nigga Boosie Hustle now. Nigga, not, because what Rollo really want to say to Boosie is, nigga, I'm richer than you. I got more land than you, more property than you. Uh, more money than you. You got a more successful career. And I love your music. And I love you, Boosie. But I'm richer than you. So you can say I'm a failed rapper. You can even say I'm a rat. You can probably say I'm a failed street nigga. But you can't say I'm broke. And you can't say I ain't got more money than you. You might don't admit it to the public. But you and I both know. That's the title I think Rollo want to go for when it comes to some of these debacle type shit he going through. Is he hating? Nah, but it's like they ego tripping right now. I'm just a mess. I'm just a nigga with an opinion. I believe Boots. Every weekend, no. Every other weekend, possible. Two weekends out of the month, yeah. Bow weekly, no. Y'all get what I mean.